Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Chris with Drift HQ. And I'm Cricket with Drift HQ. And this is the Drift HQ build series for Juan Barrion's 2020 Formula Drift Pro One car, C7 Z06. We're gonna be covering a lot of bases on this car. We're doing everything from a fully built motor, upgrading our supercharger, sequential transmission, a rear mounted radiator, along with a lot of other details with the chassis wiring and the safety equipment. So once Chris gets all the drivetrain ripped out of this thing, we're gonna do a tube chassis front end on this a tube chassis rear end on it with the rear mount radiator, uh, make some bash bars for it, get everything to fit nice and tight and uh, be able to plug in the pro charger and everything else Chris is gonna do for the car. All right, on today's episode of Juan Barrion's Pro One Formula Drift build. I'll be working on brackets and getting the rear set up. We're gonna do some uh, brackets around where the bumper goes, the whole back end. We're gonna start on the rear mount radiator today. Chris is currently working on doing... I am building a mount for the fuse distribution block for the arc panel, and then we're gonna find the best place to mount his switch panel once we get everything situated into place. So this, now I can get it over to Cricket. He's gonna cut it out of some aluminum. We're gonna cut some holes, make it look all pretty and get our mounts and everything set up. Sweet. Now what's that called right there? Cadboard. Cadboard. Cardboard aided design? Yeah. That's it, so people. See that little puppy right there? And she's just gonna fit just so nice and pretty right about there. Gucci, Gucci, rocking everywhere. All right, so we are starting our plates on this, which I just tacked this in. So I don't have, or we don't have a break, so we do all this uh, the old fashioned way with an anvil. So let's go over it, putting a plate right here, and then I'm gonna build my bar off of that. All right, so we have shaped and fit our second piece, as you can see. You tell him, Mimi, it's perfect. All right. We're just gonna tack weld it, and then we're gonna go over to the other shop and finish weld it and bolt it up. Tick, tick, get over here. So we got our plates all done. Chris is actually over there. He's gonna start drilling holes for it. FD requires that you have four bolts, no smaller than 3 8 inch, and they have to be grade five or better. So what we're gonna do is pretend like that one's there. We're gonna bolt this plate down, the bracket, and then we're gonna weld this back end to it and uh, go from there. So we're gonna work on our Radiator brackets this afternoon. Hopefully if we have enough time, we're gonna weld this in and start on buttoning up the rear end. We have about a week and a half before our fuel cell um, gets here. So we're gonna build every other component in the back and then come back to the fuel cell. All right, so Chris designed these sweet brackets. I cut them out, bent them, grinded them down. We're gonna mount them to the radiator and put it in the back and mock everything up. What you working on over here, Chris? Poppy got us a new toy. <laughs> Our dad got us a Christmas present in February. It's a metal brake, it bends thing. Bendy, bendy. Nothing but the best for the boys. I love how it comes almost all pre-assembled. So Chris just made us a little, uh, little CAD board. CAD design, cardboard aided design. And we're gonna do a shroud for our radiator. So this is our mock-up so far. It'll actually work pretty well with our battery locations and everything like that. So we couldn't fit both fans on there, so we're gonna build this air duct. Not only can we fit two larger fans on there, but it's also gonna help create a little bit more air volume behind the fans to help them work a little bit better. So we got this gorgeous piece here all riveted together. Now we're gonna work some kind of magic trick to cut a perfect circle for our fans. All right guys, so this morning what we were doing on Joan Barrion's car is I'm gonna make a nice little block off plate to cover up that whole section. We're gonna put our fuel cell cradle right in between the two C pillars right there. And I'm gonna clean this up. I'm actually gonna run these all the way straight up to block off the whole back. I was gonna go around it because there's some bump ups right here. As you can see, it's like a half inch gap between the frame rail and the carbon fiber. Uh, but 
Duarte got us this new fancy brake, so I'm just going to actually bend it up and over and forward. So it'll all be one nice piece. You'll never see that stuff back there from that point towards the wall right there uh, because it will be covered by the fuel cell. But I want to cover it anyways, make it nice and neat and pretty. So wish me luck. Salutations. So right now we are drilling holes for our nut certs to put our bottom plate on. Uh, we're going to clean all this up and mount it. It should be good to go. Yep. And then we're going to tie in the back, throw on our radiator, and I'm going to start on the rear bash bar. Thank you. 